Okay, so we've seen that processes that lift air up cause the air to expand and cool, reach the dew point, and then we have clouds of precipitation. And one of the things that can cause air to be lifted up is orographic lifting. Uh, this is when it moves over a mountain range, so some higher area. That's what orographic means. It refers to mountains. So let's follow an example of this. So if we start out at sea level here with some air that is at 30 degrees Celsius, which is pretty hot, and its dew point is 20 degrees Celsius, which is a pretty high dew point. So this is pretty wet air, uh, but it's still dry then it's going to be moving along here at the surface, but it's going to encounter this big bump, and that's the mountain range. And as it starts to rise up, as it's forced to rise up over the mountain range, it's going to cool first at the dry adiabatic rate of 10 degrees Celsius per 1,000 meters. That's one degree for every 100 meters. That means this air, if it goes up 100 meters, it cools off one degree. 200 meters, it cools off two degrees. 300 meters, three degrees. Well, in order to get to condensation, it's got to cool off by 10 degrees from 30 all the way down to 20. So it's got to go up 1,000 meters. So as it rises up, it's going to cool off by one degree for every 100 meters. And when it hits 1,000 meters, it will have cooled to the dew point temperature. At that point, it's going to cool at a lower rate. It's still going to cool off, but at the wet adiabatic rate. Because of the precipitation that's coming out, because of the condensation that's releasing heat, it's not going to be able to cool off as fast. So it's going to switch over from the dry rate to the wet rate. So we're at 20 degrees Celsius at 1,000 meters. And so if we go up another 1,000 meters, we're going to cool off by 5 degrees and we'll get down to 15 degrees Celsius. If we go up another thousand meters to the top of the mountain range here, then we're going to cool off another five degrees. At 3,000 meters, we'll be down now to 10 degrees Celsius. Okay, that's um, half a degree for every 100 meters. Now, as it goes over the top and starts going down the other side, now it's going to be compressed. It's going to heat. It's going to heat up at the dry adiabatic rate. It's going to immediately go away from its dew point because now, since all of this moisture has been removed, the dew point temperature was down to 10 degrees. So 10 degrees, it's at the dew point. It's at 100% relative humidity. But as it goes down the other side, now, since it starts heating, we're going to start uh, going away from the dew point. So now we switch back to the dry rate, but we're heating instead. So as it goes down, it goes down 1,000 meters, down to 2,000, we add 10 degrees. So that's up to 20 degrees Celsius. If we go down another 1,000 meters, we uh, uh, add another 10 degrees. We're up to 30 degrees Celsius, which is pretty hot. And if we go one more 1,000 meters down, we're going to add 10 more degrees. So it's going to be up to 40 degrees, which is really hot. And so as you get down the other side, you're going to have very warm, dry conditions. And that's where you have usually something called a rain shadow desert. So that's the example.